I had a special hate for Christianity. I thought they were bigots, morons, the worst of the worst hypocrites. I grew up as a Jew. I didn't like religion. I hated Hebrew school more than anything that I think I had ever done in my childhood. The teacher would ask me to write in Hebrew, I'd write in French. I was the only one in my class to not get bar mitzvahed. The number one thing that I wanted to become was a star, a celebrity. I was infatuated with the arts, I was infatuated with theater, I was infatuated with film and music and TV and entertainment. As I started performing in front of people, I realized that I craved the attention of people. I would love people to tell me, oh, how believable you were on stage and how amazing you are. And then people would promise me things like, oh, you're gonna be a star. Eventually I got a Broadway credit. I got my name in lights on a Broadway marquee. People loved me and they wanted things from me and I, and I fed off that and I thought I was becoming a type of rock star. As I was searching for certain things because all the while in me, as I was bolstering up my ego, I was secretly really depressed. I wasn't happy. I wasn't fulfilled. I thought becoming a celebrity would fulfill me inside. What I wasn't expecting when I entered into the entertainment industry was an introduction to the spiritual. As I got more into entertainment, I entered into occultic practices, whether it was New Age, Buddhism, Hinduism, Gnosticism, Masonry, things of Light, Edgar Casey, Deepak Chopra, Ram Dass, Iridology, numerology, Pantheism, vibrational energy, lowering your vibration, raising up your vibration, raising your vibration, stable. Telling me that I was God, that you were God, that the tree is God, that the chair is God, that everything's God, that we're all one. As I practiced these New Age practices, I got deeper and questioned life more and questioned and questioned and questioned. I had a sense that the world was in a lot of trouble. I had a New Age friend in Oklahoma who introduced me to a guy in Costa Rica, said, oh, this guy has really great teachings, and he was a Christian. And as soon as I found out that this guy was a Christian, I want to have nothing to do with him. I hung up the phone. I think a few days later, I was feeling extremely tormented in my bed. I was very confused. I wanted peace, and, and I don't even know if I meant to say it, but I just said, Jesus, help me. And I fell asleep peacefully. And I had a peace that I never had. I was like, this is very strange. So I went back, I called up Richard in Costa Rica and he said, that's the Holy Spirit. He introduced me to the scriptures, he introduced me to the Bible, told me the gospel. I stopped uh, doing any occultic practices throughout most of my books, anything that had to do with the occult. My life is completely changed. My family brought me to see a therapist because they thought I had gone mentally insane. All the other stuff that I was into, new age, whatever, that was fine. But as soon as I became a Christian, they thought I went nuts. I told people I was a Christian and the thousands of people I knew who loved me or who were my friend or who wanted something from me, they left. Nothing else I had ever done in my life before made repel people except coming to Jesus. I got called a homophobe, I got called bigot, I got called stupid by people that I revered, by even celebrities and idols that I, you know, used to want to be like. Everything that I loved in the world, Broadway, movies, TV, music, I wanted fame, I wanted power. I was amazed that God was calling me to give all that up for Him, to not love anything in the world. People may think that because I've given up my career that I've lost, but I've gained everything in Jesus. I can't take a career with me. I can't take friends with me. I can't even take my own body with me. So the only thing I have when I pass on from this earth is Jesus Christ, and that's exactly where my real life begins.